I'm here right now on the campus of Dickinson College, which is in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And I want to talk a little bit about financial aid. But I want to set the stage by saying Dickinson College is just a gorgeous place. I'm here just kind of outside the library in a little courtyard. The azaleas are in bloom. Um, students are, are packed in the library right now studying for finals. Um, architecturally speaking, this campus is, is one of those, those harmonious uh, campuses, um, all in gray brick. Just absolutely stunning. Um, the landscaping is beautiful. The, every facility I've gone into so far has been stupendous, superb. But uh, let's talk about financial aid. And we'll talk about merit aid, because merit aid is the, is the money you get because you're a good student. And at Dickinson, in order to get merit aid, you need to be a very good student. Dickinson reserves only a very small portion of its financial aid budget for merit, and at the very, it's awarded at the very top. So to give you some examples, I picked up this uh, fact sheet outside the admissions office. I'm here on a Saturday. It's not the best day to come, but um, it's what I could do. So um, I picked up this fact sheet, and for financial aid, first of all, the tuition for 2010-11 uh, is just over 41000 just for the tuition alone. 57% um, of students receive some form of financial aid. 57%. So that means that 43% are paying $41,000. Okay, so just so you, you get put that in, in perspective. It also says that they do offer academic scholarships to 13% of the student body. Okay, so 43% are paying full price, and 13% are getting some sort of academic scholarship for uh, their high school labors. Um, the other thing is that uh, the middle 50% of scores, let's just take the uh, ACT score because it's a little easier sometimes to remember, out of 36, the mid 50% is between a uh, 28 and a 31 in terms of their admitted students. So 25% of students who are admitted have a 32 or above. So 25% have a 32 or above. Now remember, I said 13% of students actually get merit-based financial aid. So, in other words, in order to get a merit-based scholarship, I mean, and this is rough numbers, in order to get a merit-based scholarship at Dickinson, you need to be at the top 13% of the admitted class or of the applicant pool, it does tell us the applicant pool is between a 27 and a 31. So again, the applicant pool means that it's not just a 32, in or a 32 ACT in order to get merit-based financial aid. You need to have quite a bit more than that. You need to have to be in the top 15 or 13 percent of its applicant pool in order to get merit-based financial aid. So that's not need-based. I mean, that's not based on your ability to pay. But if you are trying to reduce the price of college by maximizing other people's money, and in this case, the college's money, to get scholarships from the college, you need to be in the top 13%. Now, several of the other uh, liberal arts colleges that I've been visiting on this tour, if you're in the top 50%, you're likely to get some sort of merit-based financial aid but not at Dickinson. You need to be at the tippy-tippy top of the applicant pool to pull down merit-based aid. So um, it really helps to know who's getting the money and to do the research and to, and to look at the numbers as you apply. Because if you're one of those students who really, the family believes that and wants some sort of merit-based aid in order to pay for college, reduce the price, you're not going to get it at Dickinson unless you are at the very top of their applicant pool. The top 10%, let's say, 13 is, is the specific number here, but you need to aim for the top of their applicant pool. Again, other colleges, that's not the case. The top 50% of the pool receives some sort of uh, merit-based discount. But Dickinson, well, there's a reason why there are such wonderful facilities here. 43% of the students are paying full price to go here. 
So um, it's a great school. It's beautiful. I would recommend it. I think academically it's quite good. But um, if you're looking for a bargain, it's only going to be a bargain if you're in the top 13%.